Ow, ow, ow. Hugo, what oh. happened? Both your arms are in cuffs. Well, well, I, I was doing a little jazzercise at home in my lounge room. Um, I, I was trying to stay active during isolation, you know, and all that, but I um, um, may have kind of crashed into the table and broken both my arms. Oh no, that's terrible, you mm. poor thing. You better sit down and rest for a while. Mm. Oh, Monica, I'm so glad you're here. Can you help me? Sure, I can help. Well, Hugo here, he's broken both of his arms mm. and he might need some water, maybe a nice warm blanket. Can you get that? Um, no. Mm. No? What do you mean no? Hugo has two broken arms and he needs your help. I, I, I could really, really, really use a glass of water actually. It's hard to pour when you have two broken arms. Sorry, but I'm afraid I can't help. Why not? Well, you see, Hugo goes to the Hawks and footy. Go Hawks, yeah! I, I would wave my arms if I could, but but they're broken. And I go for Richmond. Ew, boo, boo tigers. I would give the thumbs down if I could, but but my, I can't move my fingers. See, that makes us mortal enemies. Hmm. <laughs> See, I would cross my arms now if I could, but but they're still broken. What footy isn't even on at the moment? And even if it was, that's a ridiculous reason not to help. But I can't be seen. Fraternising? Fraternising with the enemy. And I certainly cannot be seen helping them. But what about the Bible? Oh, does the Bible talk about footy? No, but it has a very important verse that you need to hear. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbour as yourself. Luke 10 verse 27. Can you read out the last part of the verse, Monica? Love your neighbour as yourself. But I live here in Blackburn and I'm pretty sure Hugo lives somewhere in Doncaster or something. So we're not neighbours at all. Um, actually, I live in Nanawadi. See, I told you, we don't even live in the same suburb. Mm. Um, do you have a Bible back there with you, Monica? Yep. Okay, well, you might need it for our next part. Today we'll be talking about a parable that starts with a question that might be very interesting to you. In fact, I think we should all look it up. Boys and girls, if you have a Bible with you, can you please look up Luke 10 verse 27. Someone asked Jesus who their neighbour was and then Jesus told this parable to answer them. It's called the parable of the Good Samaritan and it tells us that two people who should be enemies can show kindness and mercy towards one another. Come on, Hugo and Monica, let's go find a place to sit and rest those broken arms while we listen to the parable and see what Jesus has to teach us today. Hey kids, this week we have a letter from our very own compassion child, Mew. Let me read what it says. Dear New Hope Baptist Church, hello, I am glad to write this letter to you. I and everyone in my family are doing fine. Now I am having a school break. During school break, I help my mother work. In the mornings, I usually go to collect leaves with my mother. And in the evening, I usually feed pigs, cook and wash clothes. I am a very cheerful and humorous person. I like to sing songs while I'm working. Have you ever visited the waterfall? Have you seen these kind of leaves before? I would like to request that you pray for my health. Finally, may God bless you and your family. I like to sing songs. Love in Christ, new. Don't forget to continue to pray for our Compassion Kids this week. And next week, I'll be coming to you with an update with how much money we've raised for our Compassion Kids so far. See you next week, guys.
Today's parable is called The Good Samaritan. This is a well-known story that many people have heard of, but even if you haven't heard of it before, God might want you to learn something new. So let's listen and learn together today. Jesus told a story about loving your neighbors. There once was a man, a Jewish man, who was on a journey from Jerusalem to Jericho. As he walked along, he was attacked by robbers who took everything and left him half dead. While he was lying there, three men passed by. The first was a priest. During Jesus' day, the priests were very important. They were the religious leaders of the Jewish people. It was their job to teach about God's law and help people follow it. But what did the priest do when he saw the injured man on the road? He didn't stop to see if he was okay. He didn't even slow down. Instead, he passed on to the other side of the road. And what about the next man? The Bible says he was a Levite, another important group of religious people who served in the temple. What did he do when he saw the injured man? He also passed on the other side of the road. But there was still one more traveler. This man was a Samaritan. The Jews and Samaritans hated each other. They were enemies. But what did this man do when he saw the injured Jewish man on the road? He stopped, he bandaged his wounds, he put him on his donkey and brought him to an inn. And the next morning he used his own money to pay for the man to be taken care of. Out of these three past buyers, who was a neighbor to the injured man? It was the Samaritan, the enemy. He was the one to show mercy and kindness. We need to love our neighbors too. It's the second greatest commandment after loving God. Some of you have been doing a great job of loving your neighbors during this time of isolation. You might have written letters, delivered food, or drawn beautiful artwork on the footpath to brighten people's days. There are great ways to love others, but this parable also reminds us that neighbors are more than just people living next door to us. We also need to call people from all around the world, not just people who are nice, but people who we may not like and people who are mean to us and not just people who act and believe similar things to you, people who maybe don't. Jesus calls us to love, not just when it's easy, but even when it's hard. But that's the greatest, but the greatest news is he will help. Stay tuned for the video of the Good Samaritan and then spend some time praying and asking Jesus to help you.